Today's video sponsor is GGG Mall, where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So, are you one of those people that think that this is an AMD channel? Well, this isn't actually an AMD channel, this, this is, is a technology, technology channel. channel. It just happens that I actually have more, way more AMD hardware because AMD actually sends hardware, okay? They send some CPUs, they send some GPUs, unlike Nvidia and Intel. And the ones that you see here of Nvidia and Intel, I bought them with my own money, okay? I invested for this channel like the 3070 and the 3050, uh, and the i3 10100F, i5 10400F, 11400F, i5 12600K, okay? I bought these with my own money just to make tests. So this is not an AMD channel. I, it just happens that I pin more for AMD because I like AMD, obviously. That doesn't mean I am biased, but that also doesn't mean that I don't review any other products. With a 526.47 driver, and as I say in all my videos, five... Five means what? It doesn't matter what it means because it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything at all. It's just a version, my man. Uh, well, let's go. If you're one of those people that actually think uh, when you're watching my AMD driver videos and you say, eh, by Nvidia, the problems will disappear because Nvidia. Oh shit, here we go again. Nvidia also has lots of issues, known issues and issues that do happen. It just happens that Nvidia, Nvidia fans or Nvidia fanboys just don't bitch as much as the AMD ones. That's what it is. But let's start then with the fixed issues, okay? We have Cyberpunk 2077, in-game map may display corruption. Uh, 382, 9.994, I don't know what, what this is actually. Dell XPS 9560 may crash and reboot using de desktop applications. For the RTX 30 series, we have lower performance in Minecraft Java Edition, so Java Edition, so the lower performance in Minecraft Java Edition is fixed with this driver for the for the Minecraft, yeah, for the RTX 30 series or 3000 series. 165 Hz refresh rate option not available on Samsung Odyssey Arc monitor. Another interesting thing fixed. When using two or more monitors, GeForce Experience Shadow Play slash Game Stream may select the wrong monitor. Videos played back in Microsoft Edge may appear green if NVIDIA image scaling is enabled upon resuming from Hibernate or booting with Fastboot. Another interesting fixed issue. But, well, these issues were known, but they are finally fixed now. I don't really know if they are fixed for quite some time. I mean, if they are known issues for quite some time or not, but at least they are fixed. But what about the known issues? Is AMD actually the only one with known issues? No. As for the known issues, with the X12, shadow play recordings may appear overexposed when use HDR is enabled from the Windows display settings. Monitor may briefly flicker on waking up from sleep if the SR slash DLDSR is enabled. Maxim Cinema 4D plus Redshift 3D, with memory allocations cause TDR or driver crash. So, yes, if you're using the Cinema 4D plus the Redshift 3D, you'll have, you may have um, crashes, so TDR or driver crashes with this driver version, okay? So this is a thing that shouldn't happen because Cinema 4D is a, uh, well, I mean, is a thing that should be working because you're using it for work, but anyway, it isn't the known issues, it, it is prone to be fixed soon, at least I hope. Red Scene X Pro, potential crash while working with effects during video playback, also an annoying bug. Desktop Windows Manager service may report higher GPU usage on some RTX 3000 series configurations. Workaround, disable hardware accelerated GPU scaling from the Windows settings. This is, this is actually bad, because if you're having issues with this, with the higher GPU usage than normal, it means that you have to disable the hardware accelerator GPU scheduling, and that actually improves the performance in some games uh, with the RTX GPU. So you're actually losing performance because of an issue that you have.
it's not a good thing, not a good thing at all. VTube Studio may crash to black screen. Temporary workaround delete the file VTube Studio data slash plugin slash x8664 GPU management plugin dot DLL. Forza Horizon 5, some PC configurations may see rainbow-like artifacts in-game after extended gameplay. Another really annoying issue and not, not understandable in my opinion. I mean, it's rainbow artifacts, it must be fixed ASAP. I hope in the, in the next driver version it is fixed because lots of people play Forza Horizon 4 and for extended periods of time. Now, what is an extended period of time? Extended period of time, one hour, two hours, three hours, four, eight, twelve... We don't really know, it's not specified. We also have DAS Studio application crashes after updating to the latest driver when trying to run simulation. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, flashing corruption can be seen randomly while playing the game. Once again, flashing corruption. So on Forza Horizon 5 where we have like rainbow kind of a rainbow artifact, while in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 we have randomly, um, we have flashing corruption. Flashing corruption. Well, I hope it is fixed in the next driver as well. When both NVIDIA Low Latency Mode is set to Ultra in the NVIDIA Control Panel and NVIDIA Reflex is set to Boost Plus enabled, in a game, the graphics card will not return to Huddle Clocks after exiting the game until the PC is rebooted. Okay, this is a very specific problem, but happens. And we have the, the we have kind of a look-alike problem with the RX 570 on the AMD side, where the GPU utilization is stuck to 100%, and it seems that it does happen the same, but now with the clock speeds, um, when you actually use the reflex with bust with boost plus enabled, not bust, bust and low latency mode. Okay, that's something that happens. Uh, but at least it is in the known issue, so it is prone to be fixed soon. And well, guys, as I told you before, yes, Nvidia also has lots of problems. It's just that the Nvidia fanboys do not bitch as much over the internet. And the ones that do well, they have their posts removed, like you can see here, for example, on Reddit, on the Nvidia subreddit, where uh, people actually complaining about their, their RTX 4090 connections melting. Well, they get their posts removed. And that's why you don't see many of them online. That's one of the reasons, of course. But the other reason is, is that, like I told you before, they just don't bitch as much as the AMD fans, okay? That's the big difference. Now, both brands have issues. Um, I particularly installed the NVIDIA drivers on this computer that I see here, there. Um, well, this is a monitor, the computer is on the floor. But I installed, I did a clean Windows installation, and I actually had a bug where GeForce Experience just wouldn't boot. It would give me a problem like I'm an error, like I, like I didn't have internet, while I obviously did an internet connection, uh, and I actually had to use DDU once again, remove the drivers, clean the drivers, and then install them over once again, and then it was finally fixed, okay? So both versions, uh, both brands have problems, it just happens that overall the NVIDIA drivers are a bit more stable than the AMD ones, currently, okay, currently, sorry, currently, um, yes, they are a bit more stable, no doubts, but they still have problems, that's it. So I saw some people complaining about uh, the current drivers, the, um, the 526.47, I believe that's the correct number, um, because they were having crashes, stutters, and so on. So far, so good on my side, okay? I tested the previous ones, the 517 versus the 525 and now the 526, okay? And we did have an amazing boost in the X12 titles, both with the 3070 and the 3050. It seems that they actually improved the CPU overhead in the drivers. Um, and some titles like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, for example, have a very good FPS boost, like you'll be able to see um, like you'll be able to see after uh, after the conclusion. So yeah, basically what I'm doing right now, the conclusion. So yeah, without any further delays, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, leave your comment in the comment section and let's now go to the performance analysis, both with the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3050. Ciao.
shambles. <laughs> You're going too fast for me. Come on, sorcerer, catch us. <sighs> hey, slow down. You'll exhaust our villain. This is your tower. It's evil. <laughs> Doesn't he ever get tired? I really should get back to studying. Come on, we had a long journey today. <laughs>